Now, let's do a few changes in our app. I mean, final changes. So first of all, we don't need this profile icon here. We will need our user icon here. So let me come to connections layout.jsx and we have the top bar here. Okay. So we have to pass this current user here. Maybe we need to check where else do we have the top bar. I mean, pass this current user from everywhere to top bar like this so that we can use our profile picture. So add this here and here and here. Now we can close all these three and in this top bar, let me get current user. So this will contain our image, this image. So now let me go over here in this image link, which is the user and replace the user with current user dot image link. Now save and the image will be here on the top. Let's style this. So in the user logo class, let me search. We have to make height as 40 that we already have, but make it 50. Okay, I think 40 is fine. Then height 40 as well. Then border radius 50%. And then we can do, what can we do? Object fit, uh, cover cover yes now it's rounded and fine okay and the next thing we need is what do we need i think we need to make this start a post button on the left so where is it open this profile i mean post update.jsx it's index file and here we can do that so where is it where is it this open post modal button let me search for it here and simply add margin left minus 30 px. Yes, that's now fine. I guess it's fine. One more thing we need to do is go to this page called, I mean the index.css file here. And this is the color here. So remove the color scheme for now. I mean from here, this will turn to white. Now we have to make this as anything like this or maybe a little bit darker. So I think this is will fine. This will be fine. Remove the opacity from this from here. Okay. So we have done this as well. Okay. So what if we remove all of these? Okay, it does nothing. So maybe we don't need and neither is this. Yes. So the scroll bar will be changed to white. Now next thing we need is so we have the images on this page called where is this post posts posts card here we have the image links that we see here so what should happen when we click this should i mean we should see the image opening up in a modal so let me come over to art design and create a modal here Let me make see clear. I think we should add a component for this or we can just add it in this component as well. First, we need to create a state. So const uh, image modal set image modal equals to you state. This will be called as false. Okay. Now we will have this modal here with vertical centered modal. We need JavaScript. So we need to add a modal at the bottom. Away from here and come to the bottom. Let's add it here. Okay. Not here. Maybe here. Make this as or just remove title from here. And this should be known as uh, image modal, I think. And to set it, we have set image modal here. We don't need the content, so remove them from here. And we need a button. I mean, not a button. We will need a, a what is it? A function. I mean, we need only event to set this to true so that it opens up. I mean, the modal. 
so this would be okay model is not defined we have to define this as well so we can get this and let's say okay we don't have anything from our design so let me import it here now this picture will open up this image model when we click it so where is the picture the image like button we have okay all is that filter okay not this where is this is the image yes so we can see on click this set image model to true let me make this as a callback function like this and whenever we click the image the okay this is something else maybe wait all users i think this is not the image okay image is this where is the image this is the name okay i think the image is here somewhere so oh, yes this is the image so let me add it here now click this and the model will open so we have to make the model as empty we only need the image there so we also need to remove these buttons which are on okay and on cancel maybe we have to set the footer as an empty array using footer prop so where is this footer this so let me just copy footer array object sorry object array and make it as empty and then save and we will have no buttons here just an close icon i mean one close icon so i guess we have to bring these back and okay let me add it again and yes and maybe in the footer we have to add the button okay not the button yes it will be closing okay now on the image we have to set a cursor as pointer so let me come to uh post image okay this is alt let me check where is the image okay image 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 text status this is the image post image yes to so say cursor as pointer okay one sec i think this is not it where it is post image post image wrapper post card okay i guess i guess status we have here before this we have the image let me search for image here okay we don't see anything maybe we have to add a way maybe we need to create a class name here called post class name equals to post image image yes that's it let me now add this okay okay i think post image is somewhere else this is the post image so maybe we can replace this post image or this should be not post image this would be profile image here so let me copy in this and replace other post image with this here we can replace now save and yes it will be fine now where it is okay this is the profile image we need for post image so we can remove the cursor pointer from here and add dot post image and then set cursor to be pointed now this will be pointed cursor and whenever we click this image we will open up a uh, we will open up this modal and in this modal we have to pass the image so we can just copy this image from here and simply paste it in the modal here and okay this is not the thing we want this is profile image we need post image sorry again i am confused so we need this and add it here and it will be very big so let's me let me make 
profile image sorry not profile image post image and width should be 100 percent only now i guess this will be small maybe not let's see 50 percent okay what is happening what is happening let me cut this post image and paste it outside so that we can all access it okay we can access it yes we can let me also make margin top let's say 30 px so that we have the x button here so that we can close it and we can give title here or remove just leave title okay if you click this image this will be open up open up this will open up and yes it's working perfectly okay one more thing that i want to do okay so in the other profile image we don't need okay what is this let me make this as 60 or 40 let's see then okay not here okay this is the problem this okay profile image should be one place i mean somewhere else as well because this is breaking so it is not here let me come over to post update i mean yeah, post update and here we will have post Im okay this post image is breaking because we are having margin top 30 if you remove it will be fine i guess let's leave it okay maybe okay we need to add some uh, we need to add some margin on this so make say i mean make this as margin or maybe modal image just say modal here and let me come over to this class name here and just say modal margin 10 i mean margin top 30 px now we will have margin here as 30 and now it will be fine okay now we have to do one more thing so let's say we type something like this hello this is nishan now if you update or post it this will be here let's say where is it hello this is nishan so what is happening what is happening here is we are not getting this in different lines so we have to make sure to do that so let me over to react quill let me get this component i mean let me get this library not component so let's install this in our app open up a new terminal and just paste it and let it finish let it finish yes so we will use this component at the place of our text area here so where is the text area which is this component post update in this we have to do so we will not have okay it's in the modal component modal com just modal this so instead of this text area where here we have we will use this react quill so let me open this github repo because it doesn't say how to use it so we can import react quill and its css file so let me add the quill here and import the css into the main index dot i mean main dot jsx file here like this now close and it will take some time to reload or optimize the dependencies i think it's done now we don't need this we need one value so let me add it here or maybe we already have the value for this text area yes status so let me copy react quill and just add it here so let me add the class name of this to movie modal input the value will be status and on change will be dead status here so now we can remove the text area from here save and now let's check if you open this you will get this but i think it's still optimizing now that i have added react will here 
let me add some options i mean let me edit this so let me just find the class name that it has so open the console i mean not the console the elements tab here now let me click this button i mean the icon and focus on this input so this is called as ql container ql snow let me copy this class name add this in the modal and remove the border so just make it as none so that the border of this disappears so we have to make it as important now we don't have the border so, but still we can type it here the next thing we have to do is step i mean remove the border from this and this is called ql toolbar ql snow so copy this and simply add it here also it's now working we have the toolbar and this okay the next thing thing we can do is okay increase the height of this so say height 100 maybe 100 is too much let's say 50 px or maybe 150 it's now it's very big and i guess we need that kind of big so it is here okay but this should be okay we don't need height here we need the height on this container not on the toolbar so the add container here and say height as 150 px yes also let me add font size say 20 px okay it's now bigger do we have option to add a placeholder here in the react quill let's check where is the quill 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 here so the placeholder uh, say add some or say here something useful maybe we don't have the concept of placeholder here or maybe if we close this and refresh the page then open it again yes now we can say this yes we can type it here so in here let me make the font family as system ui and it will change so basically we can make it bold or italic or underline like this okay that's done now next thing we need to do is come over to post uh, posts card here so here we have the p tag that contains the status so we don't need it here so remove this and we need a div make this be a div and here as well and just do this uh, dangerously set in html and add post what's i mean add this now the thing is okay we need double underscore html and then this and i think we need one more curly bracket now if you check we can see this the same thing that we have now let me write this here so hello i am nishant kumar maybe we have to make this on the different line like this now click post and we will have this text here like this and it works maybe we need to decrease the width sorry height to be one or maybe 100 now yes i think 100 is fine let me add this again hello i am nishant kumar so add this here click post and this should be here where is it so i guess it's better to remove, remove the height and go with it so let me add this click let me add nishan kumar 2 click post and let's search for it nishan kumar 2 nishan kumar 2 okay it still is not fine maybe this should be not dev make it p again and then let's see what happens maybe we have to set the status 
here so let me check for status so here we have font okay we have margin here so remove it okay it doesn't work maybe make margin top minus 20 px okay this will not work okay so i guess that's fine and now we have a fully functional linkedin clone that we can use 